What's good, Trent Sizzles? Welcome back to the channel. And if you are new to the channel, I am Will, and you are watching Sizzle TV. I say y'all say the title, y'all say the thumbnail, so y'all know what's up with the what's up. If you are not a trendsetter, please subscribe. We are almost at 6K. Do you know what that means? That means we will be 4,000 subscribers from 10K. 10,000 trendsetters. Become a trendsetter. I'm trying to tell you. As you can see, there's something for everybody on Trendsetter with TV. Lambs, y'all should have subscribed already. Like, what are you waiting for? I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm still waiting. Are you subscribed? You need to subscribe. What are you waiting for? Are you waiting for me to hit a hundred thousand or a million? That can't happen if you don't subscribe. So we about to be reacting to well, I'm about to be reacting to um Mariah performing for what was she performing for? It was like Rise Up something or whatever. But I seen the title and it said she was singing Through the Rain and um Make It Happen. So I'm about to see how well she slayed. I know she did it. I know she slayed, you know, because that's just Mariah. Greatest singer, songwriter, producer of all time. Period. I don't care how you feel, but to me, she is the greatest that has ever done it. The greatest that is still doing it, and will be the greatest that they will ever be. Can't nobody compare it to Miss Mariah Carey. Like, period. Like, who, who else? Stop comparing people to Mariah just because they have a whistle register. They don't have the talent that this woman has. They can't relate on so many levels. Not even just range, because she has the biggest vocal range, like... Ever. Not ever. The other girl, Georgia Brown, she she's irrelevant. So besides her, she has like the biggest vocal range. So she can sing lower than most male artists. And then she can sing higher than all the other female artists. That's crazy. But I ain't gonna say nothing else. Let's get into the video. New York, I know we're strong enough to get through this. We will rise again. We can do this together. Period. I can make it Did y'all hear the agility in that run? I ain't even gonna try to attempt to do it, but... <sighs> Man. It's amazing how well her voice is. People say that her voice has deteriorated or whatever, but... It's not like it used to be, but it doesn't mean that she doesn't still have her voice still there. Like, if somebody can't sing, they can't have agility like that. Um, anyways... Hey, Okay, so what I love about what she's doing with these performances is she's breathing. When she's doing her regency and her tour or whatever, she isn't like, she's breathing, of course, to sing, but she isn't like taking them big breaths. And here she's taking the deep breaths because she isn't nervous. And I love that. And you can tell that she's more comfortable because she is giving us more vocals. You feel me? I'm just... I would say I'm surprised, but, you know, I know how Mariah Carey is. Like, she is the greatest. You know, I don't say that she's the greatest for no reason. She is obviously the greatest. But for somebody to be in this industry for almost 30 years and still be able to sing like this, have her whole vocal range, no, she isn't belting F5, G5s, or A5s, or whatever, all the time, or whatever. But she never, you know, did the A5 besides, um, I think, in Charm Bracelet. And then me, I am Mariah. It's whatever. Ain't nobody really belting like that no more, you know. But people just try to count her out just because she is the only one that's still relevant. Like I don't understand why people say she's not relevant no more when everybody always talk about her. I love make it happen. I 
Okay. I don't know if I said it. I don't think I did. But I love how youthful she sounds. Like, the brightness in her tone. Mm. And how clear she sounds. Like, that's crazy. But for these locals that say she can't sing, I just don't understand. Like, you expect somebody to sound the same like they did 30 years ago. Like I said before, compare Beyonce to when she first came out with Dangerously in Love to her recently. You know, does she sound the same? No, you can't. Okay, 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 E5s. Okay, Mariah, I see you with the E5s. I just, mm, amazing. Who does Mariah Carey think she is? The Growls? Okay, giving us if it's over Grammy's performance, <laughs> the Growls. Okay, okay, Mariah. with the bridge from through the rain um first of all i ain't even done with the song yet and i'm just so amazed by this talent like she said about aretha franklin when she performed at the tattoo club the incomparable mariah carey for her to just keep singing after all these years when she could have retired after butterfly you know and still would have been like the biggest selling female artist of all time but here she is still making music and singing and performing for her fans, the Lambs. Beautiful, beautiful. That's what Mariah wanted to do. <laughs> she wanted to run across that stage when she performed it live. I love what she does make it happen live because she runs well when she did it for the Live 8 performance and the Madison Square Garden's performance. <sighs> she is hilarious. God bless. Good night. That was just so beautiful. I will say, they would try to say that this is lipped, but when Mariah lips, she's the worst artist when it comes to lipping. So you can tell when Mariah is lipping something. She wasn't lipping none of this. After 30 years of singing, not even that, 15 studio albums, other songs that she didn't even release on the albums, and then the remixes. It's amazing how beautiful her voice is still is after all these years. It's so powerful. And all them belts, it was so clear and resonant. That was so beautiful. I am grateful that Mariah is still making music, still performing live, still doing all of these things, not for the accolades, but for her lambs. You know, because these other artists, they don't even talk to their fan base. All these other people want to call Mariah as a diva. However, she's the only one to do interviews. She engages with her fans. Not when she want to promote an album. Not when she's dropping music. Not when she's doing something else or whatever. She's always, at least like twice a week, she's replied to a fan on Twitter. She replied to me. She doesn't forget who made her who she is and who pays her bills and all that you know and i really do appreciate that mariah appreciates us unlike these other people because she didn't have to perform for this mariah's resilience to everything that has happened 
from 2014 and forward, it has pushed me to become a better person, to become stronger, and to ignore all the haters and everything. You know, I get hate comments every day, but they be saying mostly the same thing. Gay boy, faggot. Well, I blocked the word faggot. It doesn't bother me because, yeah, I'm gay. It doesn't even matter. But anyways, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like, you comment, and we subscribe because I know for a fact you subscribe. Turn your post notifications on so you can get all that nut and that some of the notification on videos. And I will catch you on the next episode of Transylvania TV. I am gone.